Hello there. My name is Mac Horse, and Map at Spato is out on my Discord server. However, the video isn't about it. In this video, I'll show you how to set up a quest chain with multiple NPCs, and and a simple dialogue. Make sure to watch also the previous Map at Tutorial video, for more information about dialogues. Let's get to it. First, we need to create quests before everything else. Once quests are created, we can start configuring Tinky's main quest line. The first objective is to enter into Kevin's labs. This objective can be set up by adding a state check. If enter Kevin's labs state is more than zero then it will show the objective as completed. Make sure to input objective message. Next objective in the quest is to talk with Kevin. Before we set up the condition, we need to create a blank dialogue to be able to pick a dialogue. Now once the dialogues were created, we can set up the dialogue read condition. And the final objective is to help Kevin, by completing his quest. Once the objectives are configured, you can add descriptions to our quests. If there isn't enough room for you, you can edit this text field in the full screen by right clicking it. Optionally, you can also configure some rewards for the player. XP command will give experience points upon completing the quests. Dollar subject is a variable to reference the player who's completing the quest. And finally a blank objective to Lala quest. I don't really intend to show you completion of this quest, but rather to show it in a quest chain. Now it's time to set up a quest chain. Quest chain is basically a node system that allows you to configure how quests should be displayed in the dialogue, who, or what can offer and complete specific quests in which order, and etc. Here you create quest nodes and attach them together. Quest provider is subject ID that will get passed from quest chain node in a dialogue, that will offer the quest, and quest receiver is the subject that will receive the completed quest. Once the quest chain is complete, we can fill the dialogues. These dialogues will be very simple, just a reaction and the quest chain. Mark the reaction node as an entry node, that's where the dialogue will begin. It's very important to toggle mark read on Kevin's reaction node. If it won't be enabled, then you won't be able to complete the talking with Kevin objective. Once the dialogues are done, Make sure to input correct subjects IDs into quest chain nodes, as they will affect who and what will give out the quest. Now it's time to spawn some NPCs, grab the NPC tool, and create a new NPC with some basic looking around options. Configure the NPC tool by right clicking in the air, and configure the morph and dialog of main NPC. After configuring, if we'll right click Tinky Winky, it will correctly going to show us the quest. Now configure the second NPC in a similar way.
Don't right click the NPC as it will mark the dialogue as read, and the objective will be immediately completed. Final stroke before we can try out the quest, is to set up a region block that will complete entering Kevin's lab's objective. After placing a region block, you'll need to adjust its position and size. And fill in a command to change the entering Kevin's lab state. Don't enter the building yet. Now we're ready to try the quest chain. Change to survival mode, and accept the quest. After entering Kevin's labs, you can see that the first objective went from grey to white. It means that the objective got completed. Once we'll talk to Kevin, it will mark the second objective as completed. Accept the quest. I forgot to set up the chest with paper, so I'll just pretend I found Kevin's research by dropping it. After completing Kevin's quest, all objective and Tinky's quest became completed, and we can hand in this quest. After handing in the quest, as you can see another quest popped in, that happened right after we completed the first quest. Before I'll end this video, you can notice that after you completed these quests, you can't take them again. This is because the system knows that you've completed them, and won't offer this again. I wish websites that offer cookies were that smart. What you can do is reset the system entirely, by executing mpdata clear command, and voila, no quests, no states, now you can pick up quests again. Well, that's pretty much it. I hope this was helpful, and I hope I won't need to remake this tutorial again, haha. <laughs> If you'll have any questions about Mappet, please ask it on the Discord server, and make sure to read the wiki, it was fully updated to the beta version, and it should cover all the features present in the mod. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.